What's up everybody, welcome to my Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on Baba stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are in the price chart and how we get there. I will show you that uh, this asset uh, hit its crucial point uh, in a medium term perspective. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you what news uh, might be the upcoming catalyst uh, for the price action. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis and I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point and I've told you that uh, this asset uh, hit it first, its first range of uh, support. As you can see, we had uh, several touches of the range of about $82.7. And uh, I've told you that uh, we have to retest because of this breakout below the range of support from Golden Pocket uh, level and uh, from this previous range of support from previous swing highs and swing lows, we have to retest this previous bottom. And on a slightly bigger scale, let me show you a bit more price section. On a bigger scale, as you can see, this uh, was the lowest point uh, of uh, Alibaba's price action that it set uh, on... Uh, October 24th, 2022. And this is the second uh, pivot point, the second swing low that is crucial for Alibaba. And that is why if this asset breaks this range of support, uh, most likely we will see much lower price action and uh, in uh, case uh, to be at least partially bullish, it shouldn't break uh, this previous bottom. But for now, we have to take a closer look only on the latest price action. And in my technical analysis, I will show you what should we expect. So let's uh, continue with the fundamental news. First of all, let me show you why uh, this asset uh, had this drop uh, from my previous video to retest uh, this range of support. And on South China Morning Post, you can find this article that was published on May the 3rd. And it says, Alibaba SMIC sends drug uh, Hong Kong stocks uh, as US banking crisis infects markets uh, before likely Fed rate hike. And let me go to these bullet points. US equities fell overnight amid step uh, losses in regional banking stocks after regulators seized uh, First Republic Bank. The Federal Reserve is expected to rise its target rate again later today in what analysts said could be the final hike in 2023. And definitely, the hit of banking sector of uh, entire US economy for now is uh, quite severe and uh, that is why uh, we have uh, basically red market in general and that is why it had this move movement to the downside. But what was the reason for uh, this recent spike? Let me show you uh, right here. On May the 4th, uh, you can find uh, this article on Seeking Alpha and it says Alibaba PDD lead broad Chinese stock gains. And let me quote to this. Chinese tech stocks are put in a mostly upbeat performance Thursday as event involving Alibaba and PDD Holdings stood out in the sector. Alibaba shares edged up by 1.4% following reports that the Chinese e-commerce giant's international shopping business is mulling going public in the United States. No further details such as, a potential, such as the potential size of an IPO were known. However, such a move wouldn't be surprising as Alibaba said in March it is planning to split into six different business units, including areas such as cloud intelligence and digital business. And uh, definitely, this uh, news uh, might be the short-term catalyst uh, for the spike and because of this uh, we pretty much formed uh, a new swing low that didn't break uh, this bottom and I have to say that uh, you cannot count uh, on the price uh, on the exact price point uh, for the previous uh, swing low, especially when it uh, is uh, the swing low for the major movement to the downside. It is the swing low on a greater scale. This means you can rely on the range of uh, support and uh, probably we might have it uh, like this. We might uh, mark uh, this range uh, from uh, 17, from 79.88 all the way up to 80.88 .80 and definitely, so far so good, uh, it had a bounce, uh, but in general we have to be very cautious and uh, in a minute I will show you why. But uh, first of all, let me show you this data. We are on list of institutional investors and in general the recent filings uh, show us that uh, a lot of investors 
adding to their position or increase their position during the last uh, several days. And uh, you have to keep in mind that uh, this date is not the execution, the deal execution date. It is the filing date. And the real deal was made uh, more than 45 days prior this date. This means uh, we have uh, the delay of 45 days. And that is why you can rely on this data only as the long-term sign of potential catalyst. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, what should we expect next? Definitely, if this asset uh, continues to go to the upside, we might consider it as the double bottom pattern. But for now, I have uh, some doubts about it because uh, the movement to the upside doesn't have enough volume. Yes, it has uh, some kind of spike uh, during the latest session, but uh, it is not enough for the greater scale, as you can see. That is why we still have to be cautious and uh, on my previous video I've told you that uh, because of this breakout we have to wait for the reaction from this uh, range of support and right now I don't uh, think that uh, this reaction is quite positive. We have to see even more confirmation and more confirmation uh, will lead to a more powerful movement to the upside with an increasing volume that should be at least uh, at the level of previous as you can see right here from the very beginning of april till uh, april 13 and uh, that is why uh, we still have to be cautious and we still uh, awaiting probably another test of this range of support and if it happens we have to see the reaction and the reaction might be either way that is why for now this asset uh, becomes in quite uh, neutral territory and in general, if uh, we connect uh, these two bottoms, if we connect uh, these ranges as the range of support and uh, these uh, tops as the range of resistance, as you can see, we probably might have some kind of uh, descending triangle. And uh, it is not the best pattern. And uh, we might uh, confirm this pattern if uh, the movement to the upside will hit this range and then it will have trend reversal. But so far, we have to take a closer look only on this price section. That is why just wait for more confirmation and wait for my, my updates. So I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that